Okay, guys, I decided to make a video to just talk about the struggles it is to be a lady trucker out here. Um, on yesterday, I was driving, and first of all, let me go back two days when I picked up this load. I had to take baby in to go pick up the load with me at the shipper because this place is the same every time. It's a lot of guys that's out there. Uh, the very first time I went to this place, I went in by myself and it was this man who kept trying to talk to me and I was like, oh my God. So ever since then, I've taken her into this place with me every time I check in for a load. And, um, never fails but i think this was the worst that it has ever been we went in this time and it was so many men they were flying all over the place in those forklifts and um they were just so so rude oh my god all of them was just hulking me just oh my one guy had started saying <laughs> My, 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 when he seen me, oh my God, it was so, it was so weird. It's funny, but it's not. Like, that is irritating. It's nothing cute about it. Like, no. But, they were riding all over the place in the fork lifts. I stopped to see if they were gonna go or whatever, they stopped to let me go by. They didn't let my baby go by. They almost ran her over with a forklift. So we're driving and baby's sleep, you know, cause she's about to have a door shift or whatever. And it's this man in a truck who's following me. Now I have many people who I may drive down with and they may slow themselves down to be, you know, side by side by me until I look over to, you know, because that gets on my last nerves. Don't do that ever. If you guys ever see me, don't do that. But many times that has happened, they'll stop side by side. And when I finally look over, they say hi and they're going about their business. Because I'm not, I don't even speak back. Uh... I slow my truck down so you can go in front of me. Things like that, cause don't talk to me. No. But it was this man, a uh, older white gentleman, and he pulled up to my window. I can see him out of my peripheral vision. So I didn't look over. He was side by side with me for a long time. Now, when I say this man followed me, I'm not over-exaggerating. He followed me for about 60 miles. I mean, apparently he had time to waste because he wasted about 60 miles of going fast, slowing down, jumping in front of me. Every time I would get over, he'd get over, stop back on the side of my window. And so the first time I noticed the man, I didn't look his way because I noticed he was trying to get my attention because he would stop on the side of my window and just sit there. We're maintaining the same speed, even though he's faster than me. I eventually look, and it's an older white man, and he's like, that's how he waved. I just did that. And I kept going. Look back over. Even though he could pick up speed if he wanted to. Because he flew up to get to me. So he's faster than me. The man sat on the side of the truck for miles. I didn't look, but I could see him in my peripheral vision. He finally blew the horn at me. I look back over and he's like, I'm like, oh my God, he's just so weird. So then I get caught up in traffic in Chattanooga on 24 
when you're when you're merging off of 75 onto 24, it merges over into one lane. Now I'm stuck. I need to get over. Which is the perfect opportunity for him because he tried to ask me, did I want to get over? Nope. Nope. I would rather accidentally miss my turn. I would rather get on 75 and have to turn around at a different area. No. Instead, I ended up competing traffic, holding traffic <laughs> until I can get over because I didn't want him. I know I didn't want to get in front of him. I didn't want to. But I eventually ended up getting over. But I ended up getting stuck behind him. And he ended up getting over. This this is the game he started playing. He got over. But I had I had pizza, so I slowed down. I didn't want to come up towards his window. So when I would do that, he would slow down so he could come match where I was. So now we're back side by side. So I let off the get y'all was long time 50 60 miles i was so frustrated i was i was, I was so stressed out but that's the kind of stuff you have to deal with out here these weird creepy ass guys to sit up here and relax for a while. So we about to pull off.